those who are practicing any mudras and the techniques without this the mudras cannot be successful you might have studied uh, almost all the mudras and you know all about that but without this that won't be of great effect listen to this video completely and you'll understand what i'm talking about clearly this is sri ramesh babu from barma kalpa origination center if you are not still subscribed to my channel subscribe and click a bell button so that you get alerts of every new video comes up okay let's get into the subject see the five elementary you know that the earth element you know water then jala the fire and the air and the space this fire is everywhere and we know that everything is made of this fire in different combinations fine so the human body is also made of fire perfectly and once we create this mudra we are trying to connect to that energy of fire with the different combinations which will give an unique energy to you to sustain and survive example people say like some chin mudra is to create the fire and the air element to combination such a way that you can go to a particular state of meditation so linga mudra so many mudras are there you see that all that is a combination of this five okay so this five if you are combining this energy between these two one is here another is in here the bottom energy in mid here top mid and the bottom there are three types of energies and zero in it so these energies to have real energy you should have the energy first in your hands correct without that what will you do so in the varmam system there is a beautiful explanation about this energy called adangals adangals means an energy reservoirs when you are very tired very weak when you do mudras how will you get energy to provoke the mudras of the complete energy you know that earlier sons even a temple need kumbhabhishekam to re energize the whole temple the same way this the temple to re energize you should have an option to do that that varmam is a beautiful solution don't worry now let's see how you can do this uh, simple adangals to get the best result out of this mudras let's see there are ullangai vellai adangal is there so what you have to do you want to do a mudra to bless others then keep the hand like this thumb here see you see that this is a center point just below that this dip press here and push it upward press and push it upward this one really helps you to give or get energy first to bless others no it is for you are doing some mudras for healing for yourself then keep it like this and here the same point you press it and push it upward one two and three you can do it three times to five times that's it not beyond that and once a day and every day again fine at any given point of time from sunrise to sunset and after this you have to also do your mudras and only then the results you will get it fine now along with that some people you want to bless those who are acute and chronic patients for them what you can do is that also you can use naga kanna adangal that means the junction point of the nail and the skin here you see this so you can press you can start with any hand nothing to worry which will it, it makes you more comfortable see 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You do this on one round and then do a mudra. It starts working beautifully. Any mudras you do, automatically energy flow will happen. This is the energy reservoirs for the complete channelizing Panchabuddha. Uh, see you in the next video. Till then, this is Sri Ramesh Paul. Namaste.